Hey guys, um, today I just wanted to do a quick video. I had a couple of questions from uh, people on YouTube, uh, some of the comments, asking me um, how many apps I had on the uh, on this iPad and um, what kind of games that I had on it, um, and how much space that they were taking up and 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 whatnot. So um, I wanted to go through and show um, a couple of the a couple of the games that that I have on this. Um, I actually have quite a few. Broke them, I broke them down by, by categories. Um, so as you can see here under action, I have a game called Ark. I have uh, Batman Arkham, uh, Arkham City. I uh, have Dead Space right there. I have Doom, Infinity Blade, uh, Nova 2, Nova 3, Rainbow Six Vanguard, which I've already got a video out on, Wolf, uh, Wolfenstein 3D, and Soul Calibur. Um, out of all these games, they all run f very good, with the exception of Nova 3. Nova 3 is a little laggy. Um, it would run much better on an iPad 3 or an iPad 4, um, or an iPhone 4S or 5. Um, on the iPad 2 and the iPad Mini, um, there's just not enough power, and it, it lags quite a bit sometimes, and it kind of takes the fun out of playing it. So, under Adventure, I've got a game called The Act, which is really nice. Um, it's kind of a storyboard game where you have to do you, you interact with the story as it goes along. Evertales, Grand Theft Auto 3, He-Man, it's a classic game. Hitchhiker HD, which I'll have a video out uh, shortly on as well. Uh, Sonic 4 and Sonic CD. Under arcade, I have Brick Basher, which is a uh, arcadeish game way back in the uh, uh, has its roots back into the 80s. ESP, this is, I don't even know how to pronounce this game. It's a uh, arcade shoot -em. So I don't use Open Faint. ESP Galuda, I guess is the proper way to say it. Um, this is a pretty cool game. So... Again, perfect size to be playing these kind of games on the iPad here. It gets a lot more intense as you, as the further along you get into the game. Um, it's a lot of fun. Really, really crazy, especially when you up the difficulty level. So, um, but, uh, yeah, so, there's this game, uh, there's, um, I have a whole bunch of them, you know, there's, uh, Geometry Wars, PDA games, kind of cool, a pinball game, Tetris, um, card and boards, there's a bunch of card games, these are, um, all card games along the top there, Jigsaw is a puzzle game, um, Word, uh, Letterpress is a really cool game, it's similar to Words with Friends, with a little bit, uh, with a little twist on it, and it works with Game Center much better. Um, Monopoly, Shanghai, it's a, um, I uh, um, uh, can't remember what you call these kind of games. Uh, Mahjong, Shanghai Mahjong. It's a memory game, kind of sim similar to that, where you have to match things up. Uh, take this tile, and you have to match it with another tile that's, that looks just like that. And I'm not usually very good with these kind of games. Here's another tile, but I can't use it. Uh, but that's the idea, is you get to find tiles that match up like that and uh, slowly work your way all the way down to the bottom. So um, I have Solitaire, Word Search, Poker, which is pretty fun. Um, another Mahjong game and some dominoes. Uh, under Puzzle, I just have uh, Bejeweled Blitz, Drag Gems, which is pretty good. And Save Toshi, which is pretty good as well. Under RPG, Aralon HD, Bard's Tale, Drag Dungeon Village, Eternal Legacy. These are all really good games. Um, uh, Order and Chaos. That is a uh, MMORPG for the iPad. Also works for the iPhone. Um, so uh, these are these are pretty solid RPG games. Skyrim. That's just a document, uh, a, a map game, map guide for this. The Skyrim game on the PlayStation 3 that we have. Simulation, I have uh, Galaxy on Fire. Um, 
I don't remember what this one is called. Uh, I think something like Galactic Fantasy or something like that. Um, it's a really sharp looking game. But uh, not uh, um, not something that I play with uh, a whole lot because of this exact reason here. It just sits here and loads and loads and loads and loads. Um, and it's really disappointing and frustrating when you just want to get in and play it really quick and you can't because it's Galactic Fantasy Prelude. So, um, I'll do a video on that sometime too. Grand Prix Story is a pretty good game. Minecraft, I don't need this one actually because I've got the full version now, so I'll just delete this while I'm at it. Um, maybe. Theme Park, SimCity, Warship, um, Sports, I got your typical baseball, football games, some basketball, uh, trading card game for Major League Baseball, Tiger Woods Golf, Real Racing HD, which I think is the best racing game out there on the iPad right now. Um, strategy, I have a couple of uh, Risk style games, Orion, which is a civilization styled game, uh, but in space. Command and Conquer and Star Fr uh, Starfront, uh, Starfront's like a Starcraft ripoff, pretty good. So... To answer the question about uh, um, app space, this is a 64 gigabyte iPad, and um, as you can see here, I have 40, almost 46 gigabytes used. Let's see if it uh, will. There you go. Almost 46 gigabytes used. 11.8 um, gigabytes, 11.7 gigabytes uh, available. So. My photos and my photos, I have five gigabytes on there, but then the rest is games. You can see Nova Three is one point eight, nearly two gigabytes. Um, Bard's Tale is one point seven. Batman's one point six. Uh, Order and Chaos one point one. Theme Park one point one. Real Racing one point one. So a lot of these games, these big games like this, they're all right out of gigabyte. So um, if you get the if you're getting this to play video games on, um, uh, you know it's it's a pretty good system in place of the uh, PlayStation Vita in my opinion because a lot of these games you know they look just they look um equivalent to a lot of the PlayStation Vita games uh you know we can get into dead space here and I can show you the 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 game that how it looks and plays It's not much better or bigger than the PlayStation Vita, like I mentioned in my previous videos. I'll play this on normal difficulty. Good morning, everyone. Coming up on today's show, budget problems for the sprawl. And you can see this is all being rendered in real time on the iPad. So, I mean. So the graphics aren't that much different than what a PlayStation Vita would be. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than the Vita, but this game cost me five dollars. Uh, a video on Rainbow Six, which cost me um, five dollars. I think it's actually on sale for a dollar this week. Um, so you can buy high-quality video games for much cheaper than you do on the PlayStation Vita. Um, and here I am in the game. So here I'm actually moving around. So, yeah, this is a very high quality game actually on the So, and and then you get the uh, the the Okay, you're in position. Remember your code name is Vandal. Under no circumstances so, tell anyone your real that. name. So, you get you get big, you know, you have high quality AAA games on this and um not much different than if you were on the PlayStation Vita. Um Games are a lot cheaper. The the actual tablet is a little bit more expensive, but you get not just the games, but then you get to do everything else. You know, you you have uh, the ability to listen to all of your music. You can access to uh, 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 business software such as um, be able to build spreadsheets, powerpoints, whatever whatever you use. 
um, music creation apps, you know, that you can take photos with it, you have your social networks, you can use Hulu and Netflix, all this kind of stuff. So for not much more money, you get a much better device and you get all of the games and the software is a lot cheaper than if you buy it on a PlayStation Vita. Um, you can go with a 16 gigabyte. You would have to, um, you know, if you go with a 16 gigabyte, be prepared to be um, removing games to make room for other games because, like I said, uh, some of these games are one and a half gigabytes. Um, so, I mean, you'll you'll be, um, you'll get maybe five or six games on here before you have to wipe them out and uh, delete one of the games to make room to download another one. And download times, you know, they take it takes anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes, depending on your network connection. I mean, here for me, it takes between 4 and 6 minutes to download a 1 gigabyte game. So, if you got the 32 gigabyte, it, it, uh, you can fit, obviously, twice as much. It costs $100 more. So, you know, at that point, it's not as price... Uh, it's not priced as competitively as the PlayStation Vita is, but the um, 16 gigabyte, you know, you you save a lot of money on the games themselves. So if you uh, don't have an issue with deleting a game and uh, installing a new game back and forth that way, it's not that big of a deal. Um, the nice part is, is once you delete a game, you can always go back and re-download it, with no charge. So it's not like you have to go and buy it again and you permanently lose it. So um, that's the overall for this. Uh, all the apps that I have. The, uh, the amount of storage space that this takes. Um, I have a lot of apps on here for that uh, that that uh, 50 whatever gigabytes of uh, 45 gigabytes that I've used. I have it shows on here 200 and uh, applications 282 apps is what I have installed. So you know. Um, it's uh, I'm able to get a lot on here, but again, this is a 64 gigabyte version. So, but yeah, that's the wrap. Um, hit the like button if you guys liked it. It helps me out. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more app reviews, game reviews, and stuff on the iPad Mini. Thanks.